Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tales of Arise. Last time we left off we were here, back in another one of the uh, Resistance safe houses, I guess would be the best word to say. And we still haven't rescued Zephyr, but maybe we will today. Let's, uh, I was about to say, let's see what's up here. One life bottle. That's pretty nice actually, because those things are damn expensive. What's the point in broadcasting the execution? Talk about overkill. Maybe Gandabelt feels like he needs to take drastic measures, but why, I wonder? Is Bregan seriously planning to take the Rena head on? Even though there will be Snake Eyes and Armored Soldiers ready, uh, armed and ready for us? We can beat them. You know how many Armored Soldiers I've beat? I knew it. Those outsiders from Calaglia sold us out, didn't they? That's what you get for bringing a Rena into the fold. Dude, shut up. I wouldn't say that here if I were you. Yeah, dicks. Once preparations are complete, we'll follow in after you. Good luck and be safe out there. You don't need to worry about Minnick. He's been through this sort of ordeal more times than anyone can count at this point. One of the main reasons that silver s the Silver Swords have lasted this long is because they've had such a deft and skilled leader. Alright. Never know when the red eyes might snuff this place out. It's always best to be prepared for the worst. The execution's happening awfully quick. Is Gannabelt afraid reinforcements from outside will come to free Zephyr if he waits too long? Yeah, they really did speed up this whole thing, huh? How's my HP and everything looking? Looking pretty good. We haven't eaten, though. Rest. Yes. Uh, let's see, do I want to... I think I probably want to attack up, right? Heal after battle, obtain to orate, defense. I have an attack up L that I don't think I'm gonna use. Let's just do attack up T. Slices of meat that have been grilled on a stick. Much of the actual flavor depends on the ingredients and seasoning. There we go. My trivial attack bonus. Be careful, when times are urgent, it's even more important that you stay on top of your health so you don't make any mistakes. Will do. So, how are we looking on items? Ten life bottles. Ooh, we are very low on apple gels. Okay, I should load up on those. That sucks, though, because they're so damn expensive. <clears throat> but I need them. Let's get five more. That was like a good call to me. We'll maybe find two out in the field. We shall see. <coughs> Jeez, my throat today. It's been messing with me. Something fierce. Hello. If you do have business, then with you quick. I don't want eyes on me. Alright, we got some ass to kick. Calaglian, Calaglian dissident? Did he come in from another territory before he got arrested? Another day, another public execution. People are powerless to look away as it happens. How do you guys look at that TV, man? It looks like you're looking through a microwave. Come on. We know this path is technically indoors. I feel like I'm going to freeze if I can't start moving soon. Uh, I'm watching. Jeez, I don't want to get arrested. Oh, they make you watch it? Oh, God. That's even more layers of weird and messed up. So we probably want to go over here, right? Sizzledin Central Plaza. So that's that's over here, actually. Uh, oh, I can't fast travel right now. All right. Well, we gotta go down this way. I'm a coming, Zephyr. We're gonna stop this. Or not, because I kind of did say earlier that you look like the type of character that's going to definitely, definitely die in the future. Wait, I can't go that way? Huh? Oh, you come out from there and you can drop down. What? That's a weird design. Okay, odd. Yeah, because, yeah, that's kind of up on a cliff and you it's just a shortcut to get back here. I'm guessing I do have to go to Fountain Plaza Avenue. Weird. Not how I would design my city, but I'm not a city designer, so... All right, you're gonna stop with this murdering business and you're gonna stop it now. 
there even anybody on the streets? There's not- Oh! Yeah, no, it makes sense that there's nobody on the streets because they told people that there was a curfew. And if you were seen outside running around, then you would automatically be assumed to be a, a rebel. Well, I'm out on the street. Come arrest me. I double dog dare you. Wasn't there a, uh... No, I think I picked up that apple gel that was over there. I thought, I thought it was one of the ones I left behind because I couldn't hold it. Alright, now we just gotta go up here. Past these guys. Is the execution in there? Hey, you lot! Trespassers! Think the curfew doesn't apply to you, huh? Uh-oh. Now what? Ass kicking. Doesn't seem like there's any other way in. I say we fight our way through. Wait! I recognize them. They were with the dissident! No choice then. Look sharp, everyone! Let's do it. Zephyr's still okay, isn't he? The sooner we take care of these guys, the sooner we can rescue him. Double demon help, fang. Maybe you could focus on the task at hand? How about you stop telling us what to do? This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Lightning condemned! Help! No, you don't, big guy. How rude. How dare you stab me with your giant sword. Damn, there's just no end to these guys. Zephyr! I guess that's more of a lance than a sword. At least that one had a lance. Attention, citizens, subjects, and slaves of Cislodia. I, Lord Ganabelt Valkyris, do formally open these proceedings. Behold, the brazen worm who would dare threaten the peace and order of our fair city. As if his scheme weren't foolish enough, he then made the mistake of thinking he could hide it. Take heed, Danans, and engrave this edict into your souls. Such fools' right to life in Cislodia shall be forfeit. Now, Embedded, you should listen carefully. Before my final verdict, I am prepared to offer you an unprecedented chance at mercy. Where are your comrades? Give them up before those assembled, and I shall spare you your life. <laughs> Fine time I have. If you're so tremendously determined to suffer for the sake of your allies, then I will see to it that you do. First, tell the people about the mistakes you made. Then, the whereabouts of your friends. <sighs> mistakes, huh? Where to start? I've made so many in my life that I've lost count. All my life I've had to fight, but I have known nothing but loss. I was so caught up in the struggle to survive in this world that I ended up neglecting my own family. I have lost so many good friends. I even lost my wife, and 
my son. I'll never be able to fix these mistakes. Not a single one. It sounds to me as if the greatest mistake of your life was never learning to stay down when you were beaten. A good man once told me if I take up this fight, I'd have to pay a price. Turns out he was right. After all, the very people and things I was fighting to protect the most were payment. I don't regret keeping up the fight for a second. But still, not a single day goes by when I do not think about what I have lost. Not telling others how much they truly meant to me before it was too late. That is your answer. That's the greatest mistake of my life. Do yourselves a favor and never become like me. Don't continue to make the same mistakes until it's too late to fix them. Ask yourself what it is you couldn't bear to lose. What do you want to protect with all of your might? Then hold on and never let go! That's quite enough. <laughs> Listen to that voice deep inside of you. Together, no wall can hold you back. And the same goes for the ones the Lord made you build inside your own hearts! not exactly the best time to catch up. And there's still a lord in need of beating. Yeah, you're right about that. So you're the son, are you? <laughs> I thought I'd ordered for you to be relieved of your duties until all this was over. I'll see to it the person at fault is reprimanded appropriately. What? Oh, well. You've served your purpose more excellently than anyone could have hoped. Zephyr! If it isn't the infamous Alphen of Calaglia. And he's joined by his fellow conspirators, the likes of Traitor and a Danon Witch. They're not conspirators. They're friends. And they're not alone. Oh, Minnick! You finally made it! Your reign is over right now. You hear me, Canabelt? The Master Corps is acting up. What is it? Uh, Menic? <laughs> I was hoping to drag this out a little longer. Oh, I... That's a Master Core. What? <gasps> no, Dad! So the Master Corps react to each other, I see. How interesting. You can drop the act. It's over. All this time, it was really you? Every second.
I told you this slimy fuck was the bad guy. You stand before the Lord of Cislodia, Ganabelt Valkyrus in flesh. You mean... A Renan Lord's been leading the Danon Resistance? You're not the only one skilled in the art of deception, you know. A mere side vocation in my own case, but sufficient in bringing the blazing sword of Calaglia to my doorstep. <laughs> All of this was just to get to me? Alvin! Zephyr is... Dad! Dad! That's a special poison. Ordinary healing arts will do you no good. <laughs> I wouldn't fret about it, friends. You'll all be dead soon enough. All right, we got asked to beat. We need to hurry. Otherwise, he'll... we're not getting out of here oh. without a fight. No. Okay, did you just shoot a gun at me, you little shit? Come here. No. Oh no, they have like infinite HP. What is this? <laughs> Overlimit. As you take damage and execute perfect evasions, you'll enter overlimit status for a set period. During it, arts cost no AG to use and enemy attacks won't interrupt them. Be warned, however, enemies can also have overlimit. Yep. While in overlimit, after landing an art, press and hold two of the following buttons to activate your character's powerful mystic art. Triangle, square, and X. So, I'll probably do square and X. Once you use your character, will no longer be in overlimit status. Wow, just took that like a champ. Oh wait, no, that one's dead. Okay. Dead. Damn it! They got us outgunned. And all while we're on the defensive. Dad! Dad, come on! Stay with me! <laughs> All this trouble to buy yourself a few extra seconds before you die. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> 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 They've fled. They'll be back, though. Draw up a welcome party. We'll be ready when they return. Ninja, vanish! Good one, Law. Having a smoke bomb in your pocket? <laughs> did, did we lose them? Looks like it for now. Come on, even if we did lose them, they'll be after us soon enough. Besides, we have Zephyr to worry about. The sooner we get back to the safe house, the better. Zephyr. Let's get to the safe house, quick. <sighs> it was a very subtle detail, but I found it very, very adorable during the cutscenes. I, I couldn't really talk about it, but when Alfin said, these are friends, uh, Shion actually looked at him like she was surprised, which I thought was a cute little subtle detail. But yeah, I knew that slimy bastard was a bad guy. Like, look at him. <laughs> you can look at him and the way he talks and be like, yup, that's an evil person. I didn't expect him to be the Lord in disguise, but... Said it's not too late to start over. Was that directed at us? That speech he gave, did he come to this land to deliver it? What's the deal with that broadcast? I don't get what was happening. And yet, for some reason, I can't stop crying about it. Alright, let's go see what's going on in here. At least we finally got, um, uh, Over Limit and Mystic Arts now. Please, open your eyes! I'm sorry. I can't stop the poison's advance. Thank you. Zephyr! The struggle's in your hands now. Oh, are you there, my son? 
Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, Dad. Please just... Oh, I can't see you. Are you there? Definitely saw that coming, but doesn't make it any less rough. I had a feeling we might have a rat among us. But to be menic of all people. So what do we do now? I'm going. Law. That bastard Ganabelt will pay. You have to know that Ganabelt will be expecting us. This is all an obvious trap. I don't give a damn if it is. There's no way I'm letting that bastard get away with this! He's right, you know. Ganonbelt. Mess with the wrong people. Alfin, you can't just... Weren't you the one who said you wanted to take on the Lords? Or would you rather go back to Calaglia? I won't allow you to put words in my mouth. All I'm saying is we shouldn't rush things. I don't need any of you coming along. The score is mine to settle. You're not the only one who wants to avenge Zephyr's death. He's right. Besides, if we don't take him on right now, we may never get another opportunity. <sighs> if you're going, that means you're going to need the Blazing Sword. If we do this, we can't afford to make any mistakes. Are you really sure? You can ask us again after we've defeated the Lord. Please, allow me to help you as well. Think of it as an apology for getting you into this whole mess. It's the least I can do. Feel free to use anything in here you might need. Aren't you worried about getting ambushed? Impossible. I built this hideout with my own two hands. Menic. No Ganabelt doesn't know it exists. Then let's go. Time to avenge Zephyr and free the realm's people. You befriended Law. Law's perk, Awakening. When Law keeps attacking without getting staggered by any enemy attacks, his concentration builds, raising his attack and elemental attack. This awakened state wears off upon being staggered or failing to land any hits for a certain period. Ooh, that sounds cool. It's kind of like uh, Tifa's ability in Final Fantasy VII Remake, except hers you built up manually instead of having to like maintain kind of a perfect barrage of attacks. That sounds really fun. That sounds really fun. I forgot to mention this before, but any enemies we go up against with real hard defenses, you just leave them to me. Hard defenses? You mean like enemies with shields and things like that? Shields, shells, armor, whatever. When you attack those kinds of enemies from the front, your blows mostly get blocked, right? Sure. So you're saying you have a counter? It's nothing fancy. Let's just say I have a knack for busting open tough, sturdy stuff. It's hard to explain, but I focus my energy and then hit a specific point with everything I've got. If I do it right, their defenses come crumbling down. Really? But without Astral Arts, how could you possibly... If he says he can do it, then he can do it. We can trust him. <sighs> Thanks, Alfin. Although... Between you and me, right now there's nothing I want to bash in more than Ganabelt's stupid smug face. I think you'll get your chance soon enough, Law. Damn right. Okay, punch boy that specializes in punching through armor. I wonder if your ability to break through their armor is your astral, or not your astral art, your uh, boost attack. Ooh, and you are in the party, so I can't just play as you. And we can have four party members. Makes sense. That's how it worked in the other games, so... 
Cool. Who could have imagined that Minnick would turn out to be none other than Gennabelt himself? Seriously, it sounds too crazy to be true even now. Got about as many resources prepared as we'll ever have. I'm just worried what's going to happen to the Silver Swords. Well, when I kick Gennabelt's ass, I mean, you're basically going to be in charge of the city, so... We should count our lucky stars that Minnick, I mean, Gennabelt, was never informed about this hideout. We have to find a way to stop him, not just for everyone alive now, but for Zephyr and all our other comrades who are no longer with us. Yeah. Like I said, I saw Zephyr's death coming because it was kind of... He kind of had a giant sign above his head that said, I'm going to die in the future, but... It still always sucks when it happens. Hard to believe that the man who led Calaglia to liberation would end up falling to Ganabelt. Someone like him can go down, what chance do normal people like us have of winning? Manic was Lord Ganabelt the entire time, played into his hands like a bunch of fools. So Manic was Lord Ganabelt the entire- oh. Uh, oh, I thought I was talking to you. Zephyr reignited a fire in this movement, a passion for the liberation that we'd almost forgotten. Promise we won't let that flame die down ever again. Figured there might be a rat somewhere in the group, but Minnick, no way. Are you freaking kidding me? Does all this mean the Bright Eyes knew we were spying on them this whole time? Probably. Alright, are there... Something I want to check. Are there side quests before we go do this? Doesn't appear so. Ulzebek and this... Yeah, we can't fast travel there right now. He wants to keep us confined to this city. Alright, well we're at 27 minutes. Um, I mean, I guess we could do a longer episode today. I was hoping there would be side stuff for me to do to kind of fill out the rest of the episode, but... After all that, how can these people carry on like nothing happened? Didn't Zephyr's words reach anyone in that whole crowd? The Snake Eyes could be anywhere. People are scared of being reported, so they can't do jack. And speaking from experience, when you spend so much of your life as a slave, you stop even thinking of standing up and fighting. Calaglia had a lot of people like that. Well, these people are in no position to demand anything anyway, when they've lost the will to fight and need others to protect them. These people have had a hard enough time just keeping the fires lit. No one wants to sacrifice their life without good cause. It is what it is. Once Ganabelt is out of the picture, things in Cislodia are sure to change. Yeah, I hope so. Hmm. We're really getting through these lords faster than I thought we would. I imagine the game's gonna have like a second act of sorts, like the Tales games usually have, where we defeat the five lords, but then some new issue pops up and we gotta take care of that one too. Hmm. So I would like to go out here. Um, mostly just because... what is that? I don't know. Fountain Plaza Avenue. I never did go down that way, did I? I kind of want to give, um... Law a shot before we go we over there. Destination. So I think this is probably a good opportunity. Plus, like I said, we never walked up that way, so there might be stuff that we missed up there. I don't know, man. We shall see. So how do I change party? No, not like that. How do I change the one I automatically control in combat? How do I do that again? Hmm. Is it just setting, like, Alpha into auto? Is that what it was? Um... Auto on off. Let's turn... Whoop, no. How did, how did I do that again? I forget. Damn it. Because there's a way to make it so that... I, I guess it's... Is it just we walk around on the map as law? I mean, I'll try that. I don't think that's the case, though. I know we can switch in combat, but I want to go into combat playing as Law. So this may be how we do it. I think this is just ore up here, but we might as well grab it. Uh, yeah. And then I want to check out that area of the map that we didn't actually look at at all before. There might be something interesting up there. It's a good excuse to give Law a shot here. Alright, what's up, nerds? 
So, nope, I come into the, uh, the battle starting as you. Uh, give me law. Alright. Dragon swarm, huh? Alright, give me this one. Okay, big punch. I didn't really get an opportunity to do much there. And I still don't... How do we, how do we make it so I start in the party as you? Is it edit? Yeah, there we go, change leader. Cool. Awesome. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just couldn't remember which menu it was in. There's so many menus. All right, what's up, nerds? Let's go again, I'm gonna big punch you. Strike? Oh, I wanted to get your strike. Ah, why gotta do so much damage, Alfin? Let's keep our eyes on the prize. I'm trying to learn my friend Law here. I suppose I could just like, well, I was gonna say I could just turn their AI off, AI off completely. Way too many snake eyes up ahead. Okay, so really the only reason I'm going up here was just for some lettuce. All right, well, I just wanted to check what the deal with that was and get a little bit of practice with law there, but it doesn't really seem like there's much else to bother with here. So, alright, let's just go back to Sisladen and Central Plaza Avenue. Yeah. This is where we've got to go to go do our fight, after all. We've reached our destination. Oh, hi guys. One sec. That damn Ganabelt! I HATE HIM! I'm not seeing very many enemies around. What's going on? They probably know we're not going to run away, and are waiting for us to show up. Well, if it's a fight they want, I'll be more than happy to give them one. They're probably inside the Ravel prison tower in the plaza. That's where the Lord here lives. The same building with the spirit vessel that's gathering all the light, huh? We need to be careful of how we go from here. The fact Ganabelt knew about my healing arts and had that poison ready tells me he's extremely dangerous. He's not dangerous. He's just a rat bastard who's getting what's coming to him. I'm telling you, don't underestimate him. We don't know what else he's got in store for us. One misstep on our part is all it's going to take to give him what he wants. <sighs> You're right. Dad. What were you trying to tell me there at the end? I guess it'll have to stay unspoken and unheard. Like all the other things we never got round to telling each other. I assume he was gonna say, I've always loved you or whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Steel? What does that do, I wonder? Uh, I feel I'm having a harder time with Law's combos than I do with Alphans, which makes sense because barely a blip on our radar. It's like a like I got I gotta actually look at his arts and see what they do. So, barrage of punches and kicks is Talon Storm. Uh, an art that temporarily raises on attack and elemental attack by thirty percent for a set period. Oh, it costs CP though. Eek, I didn't know that. And a Chi Enhanced Thrust that sends the enemy flying. So I finish off with Fang Blast. Um, I honestly don't want Steel there. That's more of like a buffing ability I would use in the menu, I feel, because it costs 10 CP. I'll have a lot of that stuff. That's like something you use for boss fights and that's it. Oh well, let's go up here. This is where we're supposed to go, right? Or is it over there? Tizzled in Central Plaza. Yeah, I think here is where I need to go. All right, let's see what you got. I might have to switch to Alfin for the boss fight because I haven't really got a lot of opportunity to train with uh, Law. Hey, nerds. Ah, damn it. Boom, boom. 
I need more arts. Ah, flamethrowers, jeez. Get out of here. Yeah, I just need more arts with law. I'll be able to pull off some crazier combos, but right now I only have two that really work. So it's a bit rough. But I do like him. Yep, here's where it all went down. Alright, let's go ahead and get in here. Hi guys! Nice lances. Must have hurt us earlier. Look at that huge shield! I've got this, I'll smash it to pieces. This is your... boost attack? Yep. Unleashes a forceful blow taught by Zephyr. Effective on armored enemies equipped with such protection as shields, uh, shells and shields. It breaks through the defenses and downs them. Alright. Hit two harder enemies and press uh, up the trigger. You mean you can get past that shield? Just let him do his thing. Boom! Out of here. No more shield for you. I'll smash you, There we go. Cool. When enemies with shield shells and other hard armor emerge, send in law. Normally attacks on such defenses from the front will be blocked, but you can use Law's boost attack to destroy their armor and expose them. Alright. Good stuff. God, I love punch characters so much. I just need more skills for you, man. Oh. I guess I should look at your, um, your skill tree. What's your strike? Oh, it's just you. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Defeat more enemies. Uh huh. A bluey. Another strike. Ooh. Lightning Tiger Blade. Lightning Tiger Blade. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I wonder if we can make new weapons with this. Ooh, we can. We can. Also, skill panel. Law. There we go. Yeah, I need more attacks and stuff. Armored enemies broken. Boost attacks three. And you have 999 SP. Additional awakening step. If the requirements for awakening are met a second time, it raises attack and elemental attack even further. Storage V upon defeating an enemy. Flurry of rapid diving kicks. And restores AG when critical hits are dealt. Okay. Increases the distance traveled when dodging enemy attacks. Further increases attack and elemental attack strength when awakened. Increased damage dealt to attacking enemies. Counterattack damage. Law punches the ground and causes a shockwave. I want that. Because I just need a new thing for my combo. What does this do? Attack plus 10. Being witness to his father's death, Law's mind turns dark, having failed to save him or even speak to him again. Okay, so I probably want the awakened buff. Evasion distance is good. As an additional... I'm on Eagle Dive. I think I'm gonna get Eagle Dive. There we go. Okay, cool. Got some stuff for you. You have a lot of points, Xion. Uh... Endure an enemy attack with an HP remaining one time. When taking an attack, that would otherwise normally KO you. Uh... You have so much near-death shit that I don't care about. Spear sweep, CP restoration when full. Increase boost gauge from enemy downs. Downing an enemy with a boost attack that matches their trait. Spread. Um, I think I'm gonna go for KO prevention. I don't think spread is going to be very useful against this boss, right? Well, they're not water. I keep thinking they're water slash ice elemental, but they're not. They're light. Right? That's why they're, so, they're, they're harvesting light energy. Whatever. The KO prevention will be useful. Faster flame charge. That's good. I want that. Allows the flame charge to be charged in exchange for greater damage dealt, but also at the cost of more HP. Rising Falcon, increase near death. I think I want this. More damage off of that. Alright, there we go. We're good. So, let me hit up Law's Arts. Uh huh. So, let's get rid of Steel and replace that with Tectonic Punch. So we... Talonstorm, Tectonic Punch, Fang Blast, possibly? 
And I do have uh, Eagle Dive for you now, too. Let's just put that on every one of those buttons. If I ever have you in the air. Alright. Cool, cool. And Arts for Alfin. There is the strategy we can set with you guys. The custom strategy. Use healing and support arts when fighting. Restore HP with low items when low on CP. Go all out against bosses. Yeah. I may put that. Don't spend CP. Let's do go all out against bosses. And that way I can switch to that tactic. Because you can change that tactic in boss fights, right? Like in, in combat. So I think I'll change to that one when we actually get into a boss fight. So that my characters can kind of act a bit more on their own, basically. Because I'm not using the items that much, so it'd be nice if they could handle it. Danabelt must be somewhere inside. How about it, Law? Any idea which way it is? This is a Renin castle. You think they were in the habit of letting a Danon like me inside? Point taken. The astral energy's off the scale. Almost like it's pressing down on me. You can feel it? The whole castle must be brimming with it. My hunch is it'll get stronger the deeper we go. It must be the spirit vessel. You can bet anything it's pulsing with stored astral energy. We can't let Ganabelt use it against us. Then we can assume that's his plan A. <laughs> let him try. I'll destroy anything he throws at us. All right, you're a little too cocky and hot-headed at times, Law. We got two hotheads in the group now, both Alphan and Law. Xion's gonna have to keep him in check. Fast travel point added. Wow, we can fast travel here? Really? Oh my, we can. Well, you know what that means. I need to go back to Bregan's hideout so that I can get whatever new weapon we can get now. Because I need We've it. reached our destination. Also, I probably want to make an accessory for law. So, here we go. Situation's gotten desperate. Yeah, a little bit. We're good on all of that stuff. Onyx vest. Ah, cool. Yeah, there's new armor for you as well. The vest aligned with onyx. The crystal, the jewels are said to change color. Yep. Same thing as it always says. Put it to law. Good stuff. Forge weapon. All right, so you have your best weapon. You have your best weapon. You do not have yours. And I can make this pretty easily. Gauntlets made with rocks embedded with earth, uh, earth astral energy. Their weight is a testament to the sheer strength of each blow. Oh, and that's perfect, because my only elemental art right now is earth. Those look pretty cool too. So yeah, craft and equip. And I can make yours as well. Yes. Good stuff. Now, about an accessory. What do we got? Something tells me... What's-his-face might try to inflict poison on us, right? That's kind of the... The feeling I get. I gotta sell some stuff. Boom. There we go. Now, craft accessory. Um... You having good penetration seems really nice, Law. But you also lose your bonus when you get staggered, so... Resistance just straight up stops you from getting staggered, right? The higher resistance you have. Or was it just... Uh, it helps you not get uh, stopped from casting a spell. Um, I keep referring to these, but I just want to make sure I'm getting everything right. Alright. Uh, makes a character less likely to be interrupted when attacked and less likely to take crits. Yeah, that seems like it'd be really good on law. Also crit rate on Law, because he attacks very quickly. And he gets, uh, I think it's bonus gauge from crits, or he restores, no, he restores AG from crits. So if we have a, something that increases his crit rate, that would be nice, but... I think mostly what we want for you is resistance. So the grit emblem seems like a good one to get. And decreased aggro... And poison resistance might actually be good going into this boss. I mean, he's used poison once before, right? So, who's to say he's not going to use poison again? Mm, but penetration plus 40 is also really nice, but... 
For him, I feel like I would want decreased aggro, whereas Alfin, I don't feel like I would, so... Let's go ahead and make this. Enhance it. Yep, so... Null poison attack plus 20, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, let's get rid of some of these, and... Uh... Sure, get rid of that one. Begin enhance. Ooh. Oh, wait, we need more. Oh, yeah, we do need more. Uh, Earth damage increase. I have a lot of these. Freeze resistance and light dark damage lowered. I'm good. I like the penetration plus 40. Uh, one more. There we go. Enhance. There we go. You're going to have, like, one of the best accessories we've got. So, on you, the grit charm. Yeah, because this will help him get in his uh, whatever mode easier. Where as long as you don't get knocked out of your con knocked out of your attack and everything, you're better off. And since you have decreased aggro, we'll just be able to wail on things. Cool. That puts you at definitely the highest resistance in the entire party. So, good stuff. Alright. Well... Let's go ahead and get back now. Should I sleep again? I might as well if I'm here. Rest. No, I'm good. We should keep our food buff, right? I shouldn't have to make it again. Yeah, no, it stays. Okay, cool. I was like, is it going to say so much time has passed that my food buff is now no longer active? But no, we're good. Okay, we're at 47 minutes on this video, but I think I'll go just a tad bit We've longer. Our destination. Have an extra long episode today. Alright, so... Guess let's start over here on the left side. That's where it wants us to go, so we're gonna avoid that like the plague. It's locked. Damn it. Maybe we're not going to avoid it like the plague. Oh no, you want me to go over there, okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's like this elevator won't budge. Damn, isn't there some way we can go up? Calm down, Law. We should thoroughly search this floor to see if there are any leads. She's right. For all we know, there might be a way to turn the elevator back on. Yeah, it's like a design base. Elevators and all that jazz. When are we going to pick up the sorcerer's ring, man? It's got to be here. Well, I don't think we're getting past that. This looks like some kind of wall. I'm getting past here, it seems. Probably meant to keep intruders like us out. Cannabelt definitely ain't making this easy. Guess we'll have to find another way around. Move out of the way. I can bust open a wall like this, no problem. Just watch. Law's unique ability of punch real good. Law's fist can be used to break down walls that block your path. To do so, approach a wall and... Yep. He punch real good, he does. Whew. You look exhausted, Law. You feeling okay? Yeah, nothing I can't handle. Let's keep moving. Oh, hi. Did you guys see me destroy your wall? I'm sorry. It'll be a well, now I will kick your ass. Ah. Jerk. Okay, you know what? Let's fight this one. Right here. Kind of want to stay towards the back of combat, I think. Ah! Maybe I need more penetration on you so I can actually break their uh, guard easier. Oh no. I didn't quite reach it. There we go. Big punch. Yeah, I need another, like, combo attack. Well, Law got hurt pretty bad. But no one else. Okay, what's in this room? This reminds me of the castle in Tales of Asperia, actually. The beginning of the game and all that. And later on. Pork. Just a bunch of shit sitting around in here for dinner parties. Just ignore me, guys. Just looting all your shit. There's no way they heard me break that. Oh, this no, they heard it. Completely different. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna be fighting you, Al. Oh. Al. 
Feisty one, eh? What? Am I in my super mode now? I think so. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, that was the first time I went into that super mode, I think. Which is weird, because it didn't even seem like I should have been going into it yet. I just need more combo heavy attacks, like... Give me a rush down, give me a Dimsy roll, come on, give me something. Some a, a good series of jabs or something, man. I need some fast shit. So I can duck and weave. So in the boost light and darkness resistance only if works not only on arts, but also affect against lightning and holy powers. This looks nice and tough. Of course he likes the tough things. How good is it though? Okay, it's just a basic Alexandrite. Right? I can make better shit. Alright, so. Hello, guys. I am your death. Right? Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Seems like it takes Law's, uh, so long for Law's boost attack to build up. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Oh, hey, are you guys gonna come to life again? It's not. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Oh, oh, wait, I'm not your enemy. I'm with the Silver Swords. I take it you're on our side too, yeah? I infiltrated the Snake Eyes to leak information to them. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Looking for a way to activate the elevator. Sorry, I can't say I've heard anything about that. I don't know if it'll help, but let me tell you about the office you'll find directly across from the entrance. From what I know, there's supposed to be a device attached to a desk that'll open up a door to the block on the other end of the compound. Yes! The collection room here is probably locked, unfortunately, but there should still be a spare key if you can use, you can use somewhere in this block. Hopefully it'll help you find, get that elevator back online again somehow. Well, thank you, friend. Thank you very much. Inside that office, there's supposed to be a device attached to a desk. Probably locked, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, we lose some treasure. Okay, so... Let's see here. Uh, or, or apple gel. Go ahead and throw one on Law there. He could use it. And loot. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting everything in here. I don't think there will be owls in this place, but I still want to keep an eye out for them. Right, here goes. All right. Ow. I didn't know he was going to do a sweep with that thing. It's a lance, dude. You don't sweep with those. Boom, 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 boom. Dead. Yeah, I still feel like I'm best with Alfin, but I like Law. Emblem Obtain, Prince of Iron Fists. Easier Awakening makes it easier to trigger over limit while awake. Neat. Rising Kick, that's what I want. I want that air. Raise the boost gauge every 10 hits during a combo. That's easy to get with you. Push the boost gauge when the battle begins. Oh, that's what we need. We need this. <laughs> we need this tree for you. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. We definitely need that tree. Okay. Oh, here we go. Collection room key. Key to the collection room in Rivel Prison, Rivel Prison Tower. As for what has been amassed inside, who knows? Awesome. Glad I got that. All right. So now we just head on out of here. We've got, we got about five minutes left. I may be able to go ahead and inspect the other side too. And then we can just leave the elevator for next time. Depending on how big the other side is, of course. Oh, hi. How are you guys doing? Do you like to be murdered? Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Okay. No, you're not shooting me. Okay. Come on. Weakness. What are they weak to? Fire? I think that one is weak to fire. Alright, you dick. Gotcha. Jeez. Yeah, I'm definitely finding myself 
having a little bit of a hard time getting used to Law. His combos aren't immediately as just like ready to go plug and play like Tifa's were in uh, in remake. But we'll see. Okay, so that's not where we're supposed to go yet. That's still locked. I thought I had to key for it, but I guess that's up here. Maybe. Okay, nothing else hiding up here. Yep. Ooh. All right, so there's a few things in here. What is this? Another apple gel. Well, Alfin needs it now, so. There we go. Thank you for that. And is this gonna be an orange? Nope, oh, just an apple. An actual apple, not a gel. No choice. Um, well, when I get my whatchamacallit thingy, I'll go beat that dude up. Uh, no, you don't. Big combo. Okay, come on, let's go. This combo he has is so long, this art. Can someone please take care of that stupid guy shooting me in the back? For the love of God. Oh God, that's a crazy attack. Someone please kill this little bastard. Jesus. <laughs> that guy just kept taking pot shots at me the whole time. <laughs> I was like, what are you guys doing? You're just standing around. Help me, you fools. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Oh, an apple gel I couldn't use. Damn it. Alright, you know what? Um, boom. Boom. There. Now if we get apple gels from combat, we'll actually be able to take them. Okay, uh... Nothing else in here? First floor entrance plaza? Are we- do we want to go here? I don't know. I might want to fast travel back. Oh, wait, I got flip turned upside down. Whoopsie. I thought that was a different area. So yeah, there's another door down here. That's what I want to inspect. Do I want to take some of this shit? Aw, oh, come on. Give me a character that dual wields axes. I want like a berserker. What is this place? Some kind of armory? Looks like they're more oh. for decorative purposes than actual combat. Does it matter? We've got a job to do. Wait, this isn't Renan. It's... Danon. Really? And not just this one either. All of these. It's all Danon gear. What's Danon equipment doing on display inside a Renan castle? Ask around later if you're so interested. But for now, we've got more pressing matters to attend to. Remember? I don't like that you just lied, Renwell. Also, I'm pretty sure that's the armor that I've seen Alfin wearing in, um the art for the game. <laughs> I'm fairly sure. Also, yeah, I don't like that Rinwell lied. That hat, I mean, that helmet is obviously from Skyrim. I mean, come on. Jeez. Get it right, Rinwell. Alright, let's go. It's through here. We're about at an hour. I'm hoping this is a dead end. Of course not. Alright, well, I think we'll just go ahead and save here. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tales of Arise, and I'll see you next time.